We're ready for language today, being Tuesday, April 7th. I brought you a little bit closer to me and kind of rearranged my board. You need page 146 out of your book today. We're going to continue our study on adjectives, but we're going to answer another question. We have talked about what kind, how many, which one, and if you look at your box at the top, you'll look closely. In pink, we're going to answer whose today, showing possession, my, okay, Tammy's. So we're going to add that to our adjective list. So it can, what kind, how many, which one, and today, whose. That's what we're adding today, all right? So I have one through 10 um, on the board. That goes with think B. So let's look at think A real quick. Write the adjective and noun phrase for each sentence. John has a raincoat. John's raincoat. Okay, it's showing that possessive there. I lost a dollar. You would write my dollar. Number three, Sarah made cookies. Whose cookies? Sarah's. Make sure you have the apostrophe S. If you don't put the apostrophe in there, it means more than one Sarah. It's plural, correct. Number four, Leah has several chickens. Leah's chickens. Mm -hmm. Or whose chickens? Leah's. Number five, Caleb wrote a poem. Caleb's poem. Mm -hmm. So make sure you have your apostrophe S there. All right. Now let's go to think B. We're going to go through these a little bit quicker. Um, yesterday we did some of these together. Uh, underline each noun and circle each adjective in the sentence below. Draw an arrow from each adjective to the noun it is describing. Not every noun will have an adjective. Some nouns will have more than one adjective. Okay. We did this yesterday. Remember we said our strategy would be to find the nouns first, whether common or proper, and then go back and try to pick up adjectives before that. Now, if you, when you're doing your adjectives, when you get to a word that's not an adjective, you can stop there. That is the end of the word, the adjectives. There, there are no more. They're not going to be, um, they'll be together. They won't be here and there. They'll be consecutive in the sentence, okay? So we'll go through some of those, but we will go through them a little bit quicker um, because we're going to go through think B together, okay? So you're ready there. Number one, a lawyer asked, who is my neighbor? So let's go through first and let's pick up nouns, okay? Lawyer and neighbor. Okay, so those are our nouns. Okay, now we're going to go back and pick up our adjectives. So lawyer, no, not for now, okay? Neighbor, is my an adjective? Yes, because it shows whose, and then we're going to match it, okay? Is, nope. That is not an adjective. So we're finished. You stop there. Okay. Number two, a man was traveling the rough road to Jericho. So let's go in and find our nouns. Man was traveling the rough road, correct, to Jericho. So you should have underlined man, road, and Jericho. Those are all the nouns. Man, uh, no, not for now, but just, just file that in your mind. Road. Let's look at rough. Does rough describe road? Yes, it does. So circle it, match it. Okay, and not the, not for now, so we can stop there. And then Jericho is to an adjective. No. So we're finished with number two. Number three, some wicked thieves beat him 
and left him in this lonely place. Well, our sentences are getting long, aren't they? So let's look at number three. Some wicked all right, thieves is a common noun. Beat him and left him in this lonely place. So let's underline place. It's a common noun. So let's go back. Thieves. Does wicked describe thieves? Yep. Some. Yep. Tells how many. Some. Okay. Now let's go down to place. That's our next noun. And let's back up. Lonely. Yes. What kind is lonely? This. Yes, it tells which, uh, which one. In, is that an adjective? No, so we can stop. Number four, a selfish priest saw the poor man but wouldn't help him. So let's go in first and find our nouns. A selfish okay. priest is one. Saw the poor man but wouldn't help him. So we have priest and man there. Okay, let's start with priest. Does selfish describe priest? Yes, it does. A, uh, not for now, so you can stop. So let's look at man. Let's back up. Does poor describe man? Yes. The, not for now. Okay, so you have selfish to priest and poor to man. Number five, then a proud Levite passed by the injured man. Then a proud Levite passed by the injured man. Then a proud, okay, Levite is a noun, passed by the injured man. Man is a noun. So let's go back to Levite. Does proud describe Levite? Mm -hmm. So circle and match. Does a, not for now, but just file that. And let's go to man. Does injured describe man? Absolutely. What kind of man is an injured man? So match injured to man. And then we back up to the, not for now, so we can stop there. Number six, a kind Samaritan happened to come down the dusty road. So let's look for our nouns. A kind, okay, Samaritan, it's a proper noun, happened to come down the dusty road. Road being a noun. So now let's go back and pick up our adjectives. Does kind describe Samaritan? Yes. So circle and match. A, uh, no, not for now, so we can stop. Let's go to road. Let's back up. Dusty, absolutely describes road. Tells what kind of road. The, not for now, so we can stop there. The adjectives will stop there. So you matched kind to Samaritan and dusty to road. Number seven, he helped the sick man and put him on a little donkey. So first thing is go in and get our nouns. He helped the sick, right, man is a noun, and put him on a little donkey is a noun. All right, so let's go back. Man, does sick describe man? Yes, so circle and match. What kind of man? Sick. The, not for now, so we can stop. And let's go to donkey. Does little describe donkey? Absolutely, tells what kind of donkey he was. Little. A, uh, not for now, so we can stop there. 
So you matched sick to um, man and little to donkey. Number eight, this good Samaritan then took the man to an inn. So let's go in and pick up our nouns. This good okay, Samaritan then took the man, so man is a noun, to an inn. So you should have Samaritan, man, and inn underlined. Let's go in and match our adjectives. Does good describe Samaritan? Sure. What kind? He was good. This, yep, this describes uh, which one? So we're going to match this and good to the Samaritan, to Samaritan. Let's go to the, to man. Does, does the describe man? Not yet, but just follow that so we can move on. And in, does an describe in? No, that's not a descriptive word. So let's move, or, I'm sorry, you should have matched this and good to Samaritan, and that's the only thing in that sentence. Okay, so let's go on to number nine. He gave much time and money to help the poor hurt man. So let's go in and underline our nouns. He gave much time and, what about money? Yep, underline money. To help the poor hurt man is our number nine. So let's go back. Let's pick up our first noun, time. Does much describe time? Sure. It tells, um, you could say, what kind or how many, much. So you match much to time. Let's go to money. Does and, is that an adjective? No, that's just a joining word there, so we can move on. Let's look at man at the end. Does hurt describe man? Sure. What kind? Circle and match. Hurt to man. Does poor describe man? Sure. Circle poor and match to man. He was poor and hurt. So much to time, poor hurt to man. And then number 10, all people in need are our neighbors. So let's go in and pick up our um, nouns first. People in need are. And then neighbors is a noun also, person, place, or thing. Let's go to people. Does all describe people? Absolutely. Tells how many. All of them. So let's go to neighbors. Does our describe neighbors? Mm -hmm. It does, because today it answers the question of, Whose? Possessive. Our. That is our neighbor. That is our dog. So that's the possessive. So we circle our and match it to neighbors. So you should have all to people and our to neighbors. Okay? All right. So that's our um, study of page 146 today in language, just continuing with your adjectives. Um, so tomorrow, we will have kind of a review page tomorrow, and then we'll just continue on in our lessons. Um, so after language, we'll have spelling next.